YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today on Tool Talk episode 9 we're going to be moving into discussing the differences and the similarities in between the Matco Silver Eagle quarter inch drive socket set compared to the GearWrench 120XP quarter inch drive socket set. Uh, roughly the same size I'll get into the prices of both the count for the uh, sockets and or how many pieces each set is um, the quality we'll go over the engravings uh, the broaching the warranty uh, all of that good stuff we're gonna take a real good look at each one and hopefully you guys can decide if you're thinking about buying one or the other which one is better for you and uh, maybe you're buying something else maybe a smaller uh, quarter inch set from snap-on or maybe you're going with a set from like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that Hopefully this comparison will help you decide whether these are good for you or you'd rather save some money or put some money towards some snap-on and you can decide which one's best for you. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, stay tuned for my upcoming video uh, comparing my gear wrench, double box end, rashing wrenches, 120XP. Uh, I'll be comparing those to my Easy Red double box end and my Tecton double box in. So please stay tuned for that and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys. Hey YouTubers, so these are the two quarter inch drive socket sets that I'm going to be going over today. Uh, we have the Matco Silver Eagle quarter inch drive set and the Gear Wrench 120 XP quarter inch drive set. Uh, the Gear Wrench set is part number 80300 Papa and the Matco Silver Eagle is Sierra Alpha Sierra Echo five zero papa alpha um and the gear wrench set runs anywhere from 45 to 75 dollars just depending on where you can find it and the price <clears throat> it does vary um with the matco silver eagle without the discount you're looking at paying 170 dollars for this uh with the discount you're looking at paying 68 dollars so with the discount once again these two products are pretty similar in price um, but this being a 52 piece set and the gear wrench being a 51 piece set, I believe. And, uh, they're both really good sets, but we'll get into the details and differences and everything in just a minute. Uh, but those are the prices and they both have lifetime warranty. But once again, if you have a Matco truck and you work in the professional environment, uh, the Silver Eagle might be easier to get a warranty on. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer or a professional, this set will work just as good. Uh, it just will be a different warranty process. But it's not really a big deal for me or most technicians because a lot of the times they do have uh, multiples of the sockets that they use most. So uh, great warranties, really good tools. Uh, overall, the dimensions of the gear wrench is 12 and a half, the Silver Eagle 14 and a quarter, and then about six inches that direction and seven and a quarter for the gear wrench. So they're both really small cases, really nice blow molded cases. Um, but the Silver Eagle stands a little bit taller so you wouldn't be able to put it in as shallow of a drawer. But most of the time if you are keeping them in the blow molded case and you're keeping them in a box, it's really irritating to keep opening these so most people will just take the top off of the box to make it easier or they will pull everything out of here and put it on a rail system and that's what I did I actually borrowed this set because it's still in the case so uh, you can get a better comparison of them but I'm gonna open them up real quick show you each one and then we'll move into them individually so this is the gear wrench 120 XP set nice blow molded case the hinges are really nice. They have a metal rod that goes through here. And so it's an actual hinge style. It's not that uh, pressure one where it flings back when you let go of it. So I really like this style of hinge. And then the Silver Eagle also has a really nice hinge system. It's metal. The hinges work really nicely. Um, and then inside you have this little protective sheet. And they utilize both the top and the bottom of 
the blow molded case. So if you use this one in your toolbox, you would most likely just lay it down exactly like this so you have easy access to all of it. Uh, but keeping them in these cases sometimes will take up more space. So that's why I took mine out of the blow molded case and put them on a rail system. But now that I went over the prices, part number, and the cases, now we'll move into just individually looking at each set and I'll kind of tell you the differences in each one. Alrighty guys, so first up is this Gear Wrench 120XP set. Comes in this nice blow molded case. Um, now keep in mind if you've watched any of my other videos on Gear Wrench compared to the Matco Silver Eagle, uh, just keep in mind they are basically the same thing. Uh, a lot of the time Silver Eagle is made by the same companies that make a lot of the Gear Wrench products. You know, they go through KD Tools, Apex Tool Group, uh, it all depends. And then, you know, they're very similar to Husky and stuff like that. So some things differ, but we're going to get into that here now. Uh, with this gear wrench set, it is a 51 piece set and you get 9 sixteenths, or I'm sorry, 3 sixteenths through 9 sixteenths in the standard, both shallow and deep. And then for the metric, you have 4 through 15 with 5.5 .5 in here. So no skipping of sizes, same thing for both shallow and deep. Then you have like this six inch extension, a little three inch extension, and a universal joint. Then you have the 120 XP ratchet, which is a 60 tooth gear with two pawls. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's 10 teeth per paw that stays in contact and makes a three degree arc swing. So that's one thing I love about the uh, Gear Wrench 120XP is just because you get the strength of a 60 tooth, but you get that uh, nice low arc swing. And then you also get a little reversible palm ratcheting uh, device for using with your sockets for, say, working up in uh, dashboards and stuff, and you got to get it tight fasteners. So I don't really use these all that often, if at all, but if they are necessary, they're very handy. So it's always nice to have in here. Um, but I'm going to move into the Matco Silver Eagle now, and then I'll actually show you the differences in the sockets themselves. So onto this Matco Silver Eagle set, which is SASE50PA. Um, this is a 52-piece set, and this entire little bit socket set here uh, of bits is considered one. There are 30 bits in here, but they only consider it one. So there are actually more than 52 pieces, but it's considered a 52 piece set where the gear wrench is a 51 piece set. So the advantage is you do get this uh, little bit ratchet for these, which makes it really nice. It's kind of like the palm ratchet, but really handy for those windows and real tight spaces. So this is an awesome feature to have. Um, the ratchet, I don't know how I feel about these uh, Silver Eagle ratchets. They're decent. They work good. Uh, I believe it's just a 60 tooth count on this ratchet. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it could be 72, but it does sound like a low tooth count. And it has the quick release, nice little indented uh, reverse so it doesn't stick out. So that's nice. Pretty easy to operate and then the little bit ratchet also has a reverse lever so that's pretty nice then as far as the SAE or standard sockets here you have these shallows which is 3 16 through 9 16 and 3 16 through 9 16 in the deep as well and then the metric is all up here at the top as far as the uh, deep sockets which is for through 15, the exact same as the gear wrench set. Uh, and then here are the shallow ones. It also includes 5.5, then you got your three inch and six inch extension, or two inch and eight inch extension, whatever they are. Um, so the exact same sockets, um, you get a ratchet, same extensions, and then you get your universal joint here, which is the exact same thing. Uh, so the sets are almost identical except the gear wrench set having the palm ratchet and the silver eagle having this little bit ratchet with bits. 
So they're both really nice sets. Uh, they both come in really nice cases, and they're both decently priced as long as you get this one with the discount. Uh, without the discount, this is pretty pricey, $180 uh, without the discount. So that is a little steep, especially for a Silver Eagle product. These are both made in Taiwan. So uh, take what you want from that. Uh, but now let's move into looking kind of at a close-up of these sockets, comparing the two. And uh, I'll just show you the differences in between them. Alrighty, guys. So over here on the right is the Matco Silver Eagle. On the left, the Gear Ranch 120XP set. And here I have the shallow and deep 15 millimeter and shallow and deep 916 from each set. Uh, and I'll just kind of go over the chrome jobs on them, uh, the identifiers, um, the broaching, and all of that good stuff. So we'll start off with the shallows uh, here. You have the same height on them. The design you can tell is a little bit different. The the cutting in the uh, sockets themselves. The Silver Eagle does have laser etched Silver Eagle in, and then the printing of 15 millimeter and the part number. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the gear wrench is a little bit easier to read. Uh, printed really large gear wrench, and then 15 laser etched right there and then the part number. So looking at it, uh, I think the gear wrench is a little bit easier to read. And then the thing that I like about the gear wrench over the Matco Silver Eagle is that they identify their metric with this knurled part or ring around the base. And then their SAE just has the two lines across the bottom. And then with the Silver Eagle, they are identical. So there's no real like quick reference to tell whether you're grabbing an SAE or a metric. So this is the 916 and this is the 15. But looking at that, they have the same design as far as the shape for the socket. You know, they got the rounded corners for helping with uh, rusted or rounded fasteners they have that feature in there to where it doesn't come to a straight point uh, i do believe the chrome job on the matco silver eagle is a little bit better uh, on the inside of the socket but that's not a big deal to me as long as they're protected on the outside uh, they're both protected on the inside as well just the matco silver eagle has a little bit better chrome job on the inside so that's good um, but moving on, I already stated the differences where the gear wrench has the knurling at the bottom. The Silver Eagle just has the same for both metric and A or SAE. Um, and they both are the same depth for the sockets themselves. But the broaching on the inside, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the Silver Eagle is just a little bit deeper. The broaching is just a little bit deeper down in the socket here and the gear wrench has the broaching just a little bit higher in the socket uh, than this Matco Silver Eagle. Here's kind of a close-up of it and I actually like the broaching being fairly close to the top. These are both really good. Uh, cheaper sockets will have it all the way down at the bottom. Um, the only time this can be an interference is when you're trying to get to a nut that on a shaft or a you know a threaded shaft that's past another uh, nut or bolt but it's very rare that you come into instances like that so I really like this feature so if I'm going to start a bolt I can easily drop it in here without it falling all the way down to the bottom of the socket so both of these sockets will hold the bolt or fastener near the top of the socket so you can get it started on whatever you need uh, so that's a really nice feature so both uh, Matco Silver Eagle and the Gear Wrench have that feature, which I really like. Let me know if you guys like the broaching up towards the top or if you guys don't really care too much for the broaching inside of the sockets. And it's like that for both uh, SAE and metric. Obviously not on the shallows because you don't really need it. And then on the back they do have this indent here where it attaches to the ratchet. And then besides the sockets, we'll go over the ratchets. You can tell the Matco Silver Eagle is about a half inch longer than the Gear Wrench 120XP, 
but when it comes to uh, quarter inch drive stuff you're really not putting a lot of torque on stuff so both of these are really good size for uh, quarter inch drive and then some of the differences the Matco Silver Eagle obviously has a much lower tooth count it has the quick release and the recessed reversible switch and then the Gear Wrench 120XP not having the quick release but it does have a much higher tooth count 60 tooth count gear but 120 positions so a much smoother operating ratchet um, and then the reverse lever is also recessed and pretty low in there so they both did a really good job on that and uh, I really like the feel of both I kinda like this design on the Silver Eagle but as far as quality of the uh, Silver Eagle ratchet it's decent but it's not my preferred ratchet let me know what you guys think of the Silver Eagle ratchets um, one thing I'm sure you guys have heard me say it before. I have had horrible luck with the Silver Eagle uh, Universal joints. I haven't had an issue with my gear wrench, which is weird because I'm pretty sure they're the exact same thing. Uh, but here you can kind of see they are different. The Matco Silver Eagle is a little bit taller. It has a longer shaft here where the socket actually sits on. Um, and they're both pin style they got the pin that holds it together right there and the problem I have is the pin always falling out of this and my 3H drive universal uh, so I really don't like these let me know if you guys have had the same issue if you have the Silver Eagle set as well but the gear wrench one is holding up really well obviously it's a, just a little bit shorter maybe a quarter inch and uh, it's worked great for me so I kinda showed you the differences in between the sockets how they identify them uh, the chrome jobs on both of them are really nice. Obviously the Matco having a little bit better chrome job on the inside of the socket. The broachings are basically the same. And then uh, gear wrench using the identifier of the knurling uh, ring around the base for their metric and the two lines for the SAE. Whereas Silver Eagle just uses the two lines on all of their sockets. And then we went over the ratchets, one having a quick release one not, one having the 120 XP feature, one having I believe a 60 tooth count so there are quite, a, it's a big difference in between these ratchets and then the universal joints that I don't care for but just real quickly I'll show you the little ratchet that comes with the Matco Silver Eagle I do like that it's reversible, it's got a nice shape to it, it's really small but it works really well so they do just kind of clip in there and they're not, they're snug so it's not going to fall out or anything like that uh, and it actually ratchets really well so I really like that the set came with this obviously I didn't pay for the Matco Silver Eagle set it came with the tools uh, that the VA paid for so I'm happy with it don't care too much for the ratchet or the universal joint but the rest of the set has been great to me and uh, I'll continue to keep this in my work box and use them until I uh, don't enjoy them anymore but they've been holding up really well so far let me know what you guys think of the Matco Silver Eagle compared to the Gear Wrench 120 XP quarter inch drive socket sets both around sixty or seventy dollars uh, if you can get the discount on the Matco Silver Eagle otherwise you're gonna be paying hundred and eighty dollars for this set okay youtubers so that's basically it for my comparison between the Gear Wrench 120 XP quarter inch drive socket set compared to the Matco Silver Eagle quarter inch drive socket set. Uh, a lot of similarities such as quality, both being made in Taiwan, um, both being around the same price as long as you have that discount through Matco. If not, you're going to be paying like $180 for that set. So I probably wouldn't get that set if it wasn't on that discount. Um, and then, like I stated, the sockets are very similar. Gear wrench using uh, different designs in them to signify what is metric and what is SAE. Uh, the ratchets, one having quick release and a low tooth count, the other having no quick release and a high tooth count. Um, so it's really up to you to decide uh, is paying that extra for the Matco Silver Eagle really worth it or if you're going to spend that much money around $180 maybe go with Snap-on just save towards that set. or if you think you would be happy with the Gear Wrench 120XP set, that is also a great choice. I've loved my set. Also, keep in mind that set 
runs from GearWrench anywhere from $45 to $70. But if you go to Tool Discounter, you can get that set with the 120XP3H drive set for like $103 or $104. So great deal there. Or you can find it on eBay for uh, $135 for both sets. So really good pricing there, really good socket sets. Um, like I said, a lot of similarities, same warranties, made in the same place. Uh, so you get what you pay for. I absolutely love those except for the Ratchet in the Silver Eagle set is okay. And the Universal Joint, not an okay product. Um, really not happy with that. But that's just my uh, experience with them. Maybe you've had better experience or possibly a worse experience with them. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I left out any information that you would like to know, please leave a comment down below. And if you have either one of these sets, please let me know how you've enjoyed them or maybe you've been disappointed with them. But please let me know. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for an upcoming video on that new gear wrench extra long box in wrench set that I got, 120XPs as well. Uh, I will be doing a comparison of those to my Easy Red and my Tekton double box in wrenches. So I really hope you guys enjoy that as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me yesterday uh, on my live feed since I couldn't make this video yesterday. So once again, thank you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys.